In this video, I'm going to talk about George Crumb, C-R-U-M-B, the composer, not to be confused with George Crumb, the purported inventor of the potato chip. Crumb, the musician, was born in 1929 in West Virginia, USA. A pianist and composer, he made his living by teaching as a professor at various universities. Though he worked at several institutions over the course of his career, his longest association was with the University of Pennsylvania. His compositions have received several awards, including a Pulitzer Prize and a Grammy, whatever those are. One of Crumb's most notable colleagues was the pianist David Burge, who was famed as a champion of contemporary music. Burge not only collaborated on, but premiered and recorded Macrocosmos, the set of piano character pieces that is one of Crumb's best-known works. Crumb cites Weyburn as one of his primary influences, but he himself goes even further with the concept of abstract humanism. His words, not mine. Remember that. It sounds good on an exam. One of Crumb's most immediately noticeable traits is the diverse and unusual range of tones he employs in his music. Rather than rely on electroacoustic methods, he attains such sounds by writing for conventional instruments in unconventional ways. This, of course, is made easier by the fact that he's a pianist, meaning that he wouldn't know which end of the horn to blow into in the first place. In case there is any doubt as to where the strange noises are coming from, Crumb often includes detailed instructions for electronic amplification, placing him among the pioneers in this newly opened field. He is also one of the first composers since Haydn to incorporate acting into his music. Never short of ideas, in his later works, Crumb began to experiment with altered notation. He still used the traditional staff, but laid it out on the page in an artistic manner, such as in circles or spirals. The goal in such cases was to make the score more aesthetically pleasing. Whether or not it pleased the musicians is an entirely different matter. Although Crumb's music is unabashedly expressionistic and jarringly modern, not all of it is necessarily difficult to listen to. His solo cello sonata, though conservative by Crumb standards, is one of my personal favorites. However, you have been warned. If you come across a string quartet banging glass objects, shouting into amplifiers, and playing their instruments upside down, all while trying to dance the rumba, it's not mercury poisoning, the end of the world, or my chamber group on a Friday night. It's George Crumb. 